The Walt Disney Concert Hall at 111 South Grand Avenue in downtown of Los Angeles, California, is the fourth hall of the Los Angeles Music Center and was designed by Frank Gehry. It opened on October 24, 2003. Bounded by Hope Street, Grand Avenue, and 1st and 2nd Streets, it seats 2,265 people and serves, among other purposes, as the home of the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra and the Los Angeles Master Chorale. The hall is a compromise between an arena seating configuration, like the Berliner Philharmonie by Hans Scharon, and a classical shoebox design like the Vienna Music Vrin or the Boston Symphony Hall. Lillian Disney made an initial gift of $50 million in 1987 to build a performance venue as a gift to the people of Los Angeles and a tribute to Walt Disney's devotion to the arts and to the city. The Frank Gehry Design Building opened on October 24, 2003. Both Gehry's architecture and the acoustics of the concert hall, designed by Minoru Nagata, the final completion supervised by Nagata's assistant and protege Yasui's Toyota, have been praised in contrast to its predecessor, the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. The design of the hall included a large concert organ, completed in 2004, which was used in a special concert for the July 2004 National Convention of the American Guild of Organists. The organ had its public debut in an unsubscription clarification needed, recital performed by Frederick Swan on September 30, 2004 and its first public performance with the Philharmonic two days later in a concert featuring Todd Wilson. The organ's façade was designed by architect Frank Gehry in consultation with organ consultant and tonal designer Manuel Rosales. Gehry wanted a distinctive, unique design for the organ. He would submit design concepts to Rosales, who would then provide feedback. Many of Gehry's early designs were fanciful, but impractical. Rosales said in an interview with Timothy Mangan of the Orange County Register, his, Gary's, earliest input would have created very bizarre musical results in the organ. Just as taste, some of them would have had a console at the top and pipes upside down. There was another in which the pipes were in layers of arrays like fans. The pipes would have had to be made out of materials that wouldn't work for pipes. We had our moments where we realized we were not going anywhere. As the design became more practical for me, it also became more boring for him. Then, Gary came up with the curved wooden pipe concept, like a log jam kind of thing, says Rosales, turned sideways. This design turned out to be musically viable. The organ was built by the German organ builder Kasper Gladder Gotts under the tonal direction and voicing of Manuel Rosales. It has an attached console built into the base of the instrument from which the pipes of the positive, great, and swell manuals clarification needed, are playable by direct mechanical, or tracker key action, with the rest playing by electric key action, this console somewhat resembles North German Baroque organs, and has a closed circuit television monitor set into the music desk. It is also equipped with a detached, movable console which can be moved about as easily as a grand piano, and plugged in at any of four positions on the stage. This console has terraced, curved amphitheater-style stop jams resembling those of French romantic organs, and is built with a low profile, with the music desk entirely above the top of the console, for the sake of clear sight lines to the conductor. From the detached console, all ranks play by electric key and stop action. Citation needed. In all. There are 72 stops, 109 ranks, and 6,125 pipes. Pipes range in size from a few inches, centimeters to the longest being 32 feet, 9.75 meters, which has a frequency of 16 hertz. The organ is a gift to the County of Los Angeles from Toyota Motor Sales, USA Incorporated. Yeah.